How many GMs will be willing to give Jonathan Taylor the contract he's seeking? Hey. Okay. It's a good day to talk some football. For those of you who haven't heard, Jonathan Taylor requested a trade, and the coach's owner has no intentions of moving him. Now, Jonathan Taylor has one year left on his rookie contract, and from the outside looking in, teams don't seem eager to offer him a long-term deal. And from the outside looking in, I'm completely wrong. NFL Network reporter Ian Rappaport reported on Tuesday that there is expected to be interest from teams in Jonathan Taylor, and that there are clubs willing to give him the kind of contract he wants. So NFL Network listed five potential destinations for Jonathan Taylor. I think only three are realistic and exciting to talk about. One team that was not listed that could have been listed was the Jets. And the reason why they weren't listed is because the Jets seem to be all in on Dalvin Cook. Also, the idea of trading for Jonathan Taylor when you have Brees Hall under contract for three more years just seems like someone is playing Madden. So the three teams I'm going to talk about is number one. Miami Dolphins. Any team interested in Dalvin Cook is probably interested in Jonathan Taylor. And I will say that Miami's backfield is already crowded and has some decent players. But the Dolphins have interest in Dalvin Cook suggests that they're just not comfortable with the talent they already have. It seems like they want to add a superstar running back to an already superstar wide receiver core. So the main question is, does Jonathan Taylor fit in a Mike McDaniels offensive scheme? I would say so. I mean, Miami style of play? is speed, super fast human beings. I mean, look at the roster. They have Jalen Waddle and Terry Kill, two of the fastest players in the NFL. And Jonathan Taylor has plenty of speed. I mean, he turned in the fastest run from any ball carrier during the 2021 season. And he ran a 4-3-40 at the NFL Combine coming out of college. There's only two problems why John Taylor might not fit. Number one, even though he has the speed, he's not the perfect fit from a third down standpoint. But with the other options on the roster already, the Dolphins could find someone already to fill that role if needed. And number two, the Dolphins might have the immediate cap space to afford John Taylor right now, but long term could be a different story. They're currently at more than 30 million above the projected 2024 salary cap. And that's what Tua is set to make a little over $23 million on his fifth-year contract and other big names such as Christian Wilkins hitting free agency. I mean, could they extend Tua, keep their core, and sign Jonathan Taylor long-term? <sighs> Team number two, the New England Patriots. Now, the New England Patriots recently hosted former Dallas Cowboys Ezekiel Elliott on a visit. So it's safe to say that they're looking to add another running back to the roster for an offense that struggled a year ago. And this sucks for individuals who drafted Ramondre Stevenson early in football fantasy. Good thing I did. Now, Bill Belichick has a history of adding players who balled out on their defense. Matthew Judon is the most recent name to come to mind. And Jonathan Taylor most definitely fits that description. As he had a monster performance against the Patriots in week 15 of the 21 season. He ran the ball 29 times for 170 yards and included a 67-yard touchdown. Balled out. The only reason that JT signed into the Patriots is far-fetched is because Coach Bill Belichick does not like spending a lot of money on running backs. I mean, the most he has paid a running back in recent years was James White, who never earned more than $5 million a year. So, you can cross John Taylor off the list. And the last team on my list is the Chicago Bears. Now, there's two reasons why the Bears might make sense. Number one, they have the salary cap space to get a deal done right now. And number two, the Bears head coach was the coach's former defensive coordinator back in 2020 and 2021. So he knows what Jonathan Taylor can do. In those two years, Jonathan Taylor almost ran for 3,000 yards, 29 touchdowns, had 76 catches for 659 yards, and three more touchdowns over 32 games. The head coach knows he can ball. But you can question how much interest the Chicago Bears will have in Jonathan Taylor in getting the deal done. I mean, like the Dolphins, Chicago already has a solid running back trio. Plus, if things go well with Justin Fields this season, most of that cast space I mentioned earlier on in the video could go towards a potential extension for Fields. Comment below if you think Jonathan Taylor will get traded at all. And if he does, will he get traded to one of these teams? If you have a dark horse, go ahead and comment below with that squad. And why you gotta go ahead and leave a like. And like I always say, if you're a true NFL fan, or a football fan, go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now because it's free. But until next time, 